Things happen very quickly in cardiology. You can make a decision in a second that will extend a person's life for the next 20 or 30 years. I am Dr. Cleveland Francis. I'm a cardiologist and also a professional musician. I fell in love with music when I was a kid. We were poor and I couldn't afford a guitar, so I made one out of a cigar box. And when my mother saw that, she saved quarters in a, in a jar for about a year and bought me a $25 guitar, taught myself to play, and I've been playing ever since. I had two loves in my life. I had music and I had science. I loved them equally. And when I got to college, I majored in biology, and I saw a black physician. I had never seen a black physician before. And I decided in that moment that that's what I wanted to be. You know, I want underserved and minority kids to see me in every capacity as a doctor, as a musician, so they can dream and they can also become that. Cardiovascular disease is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. It has unfortunately become a global health crisis and it's responsible for close to a trillion dollars in spend. But then the more important one is the human impact of cardiovascular diseases that we all have to deal with. 80% of heart disease is preventable, but it is only preventable when you find out what your diagnosis is. AliveCore created the Cardio Mobile, which is a really tiny EKG device that could be paired with a smartphone. It helps patients take a clinical grade EKG within 30 seconds when and where they need it. I learned about Cardio Mobile when it first came out. Yeah, well, th this is absolutely amazing the size of a credit card. It's like traveling with a doctor in your pocket. I recommend it to a few patients because they were having symptoms that we just couldn't capture. We spend months and sometimes years trying to chase down that elusive arrhythmia. And finally, I had a tool in my hand that I said, oh, if you experience this, you take a tracing and you get it back to me. The device enables people to record cardiac events in real time, leading to early diagnosis and treatment. When you combine the reading of the waveform with AI, that has been cleared for arrhythmias. The physicians can tell you precisely what is going on with your heart. And we have now collected over 225 million ECGs, which we are using to train our next generation of AI algorithms. In my case, the use of the CardioMobile accelerated my getting a permanent pacemaker by identifying a definite diagnosis. I got up out of bed to go and make tea for us. And the next thing I remember is my wife yelling to me, like, you know, what, what happened? I must have fallen and gotten back up. But I have no recollection of even feeling dizzy. And I said, like, get the uh, cardiomobile pad for me. I thought I would find that I was in atrial fibrillation, but I found that I was in complete heart block, which is a much more serious condition. I turned my care over to another clinician. I was examined. My EKG was perfectly normal. And then that's when I pull out my smartphone and I showed him. I was admitted to the hospital and monitored overnight. And they implanted a pacemaker in me uh, the following morning. Early diagnosis needs early treatment. I didn't have to go through months of diagnostic studies. I didn't have to stop from driving. It accelerated definitive therapy for me. If he didn't have that cardio mobile with him, it's really scary when we look back to see what could have possibly happened had this condition not been detected. <laughs> Since receiving the pacemaker, I have felt perfect. I don't expect anything. I have no other heart disease. We travel with ultimate confidence that a diagnosis was made and a treatment was rendered and I go on with my life. We're committed to bring more hardware, services and AI to enable patients to become an active participant in their heart health management. We really have an opportunity uh, to have an impact on healthcare, uh, not just the cost element but the impact that it has on families and our daily lives. Thanks to digital technology and AI, we're able to make uh, better diagnoses, 
faster diagnoses, and I'm really excited about it.